Yeah. At the bar there. We'll uh, get over to the next. Uh, be there. Yeah, you can just click this, on that. This again. one here. Okay. No, no. Oh. Um, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and, and uh, open that up. Yep. <coughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's coming up. Uh, uh, my name is Greg Sutton, and I work for Tech Services, and I've had the wonderful opportunity to uh, know many of you and work with many of you in, in, uh, across uh, a number of different projects over, over the years. and. And uh, we've all probably uh, uh, touched uh, uh, folks that we're going to talk uh, about here and have wonderful programs we've been engaged in and, and those that we're delivering now. But uh, we're going to uh, uh, take a, a little bit of time to confirm some of the things that, that Brad said as, as well as take a, a little bit, bit deeper dive down into what our experiences have been with uh, senior populations. and and their engagement of technology and, and the opportunities uh, uh, to continue to, uh, to work with them uh, in embracing technology to address some of the things that, that Brad uh, brought up uh, at, at a broader scale. Um, the, uh, uh, we're going to do a, a quick overview of the senior uh, population and put some data to some of the things that, that Brad uh, talked about. Um, we're going to talk about the impact of technology on seniors, whether they're engaging with the technology or not, there is still an impact uh, on, on seniors with technology, as well as the social impact uh, on, on seniors. What's going on socially as, as more and more technology is used for communication, for uh, that's uh, within the family or, or uh, with others, uh, what's that social in, in, impact of technology on the seniors? Some of the programs and support for seniors are related to how to uh, interact with technologies. We're going to talk about uh, that from our experiences and then we're going to look ahead at, at what we see as uh, uh, continued impact on uh, uh, seniors in, in the application of technology and the uptake of, of technology. Um, from an overview real quick, uh, uh, the 50 plus uh, uh, age uh, population is the fastest growing uh, segment uh, in, in our population. Uh, uh, currently uh, this age group uh, is also the slowest in, in the uptake of technology. And finally here, uh, uh, the youngest baby boomers that are now entering into this, which is me and Jack, I'll point you out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's many of us here, here at the table, you know, we're now entering that. We're active users in the technology. What does that mean uh, then as, as we enter in, into this, this population uh, um, uh, here? And you know, I'm up here uh, spouting off some of this information, but don't take my word for it. I've cited my source, a very authoritative uh, organization. If you're familiar with the, the Pew Research uh, Institute, uh, they did a, a pretty comprehensive uh, study related to uh, uh, population demographics, especially around age uh, in the aging population and uh, technology uh, uh, here in, in 2013. Um, uh, it, and you know, one interesting thing about this group is this group is coming into this age population uh, or senior population uh, as we're defining it with money, uh, which is a little bit different than, than what we may have seen uh, uh, in previous uh, uh, years in that um, the affordability of technology uh, wasn't there for a lot of the, the older population. For example, my grandmother is going to be uh, 103 this year in, in April, and uh, you know she's living off of uh, uh, off of uh, the retirement uh, of my grandfather and herself. Uh, but back when she would have been more engaged in technology, she was talking $2,500 for for a basic PC. Well, that really wasn't affordable for her, and so she made a decision based on affordability. In today's world, it's a little bit different because this population is coming in with some money and the affordability of technology is, is there as well. So we see that as, as a potential uh, impact here uh, going forward. Um, again, uh, just to put some numbers behind what this uh, population uh, uh, you know, population segments look like and um, as related to age and the uptake of technology, you can see again as you, you move from 
uh, those that are uh, finishing education, entering the workforce, those that uh, have families, you know, growing families, and then as you move towards those that are towards the end of raising their families.